Well, have you ever done blue material or adults only type of material? No, but I, you know, I'm not a prude. I mean, I did, I did my 20 plus years in the military, but I knew this, that the cell phone is, is out there and somebody's going to take a YouTube picture of you sooner or later and you're not ever going to get that back because that baby's uploaded and out there forever. So, uh, I didn't want to be in a position of having to defend myself for whatever reason, especially after I learned about corporate gigs and, because I've actually met comedians that said, yeah, I got asked to do this corporate gig, but they wouldn't, you know, they said I, they saw a video of me when I did some blue stuff, and she spent the whole time trying to excuse that, and she never got the gig. And so I, I feel fortunate that I, you know, at least had enough vision to realize this is going to happen. <laughs> There's going to be people out there filming you at that open mic or, or somewhere, and I just never wanted to be in that position. And I didn't see uh, Cosby or Reagan, or, you know, uh, uh, Brian Reagan or Seinfeld starving or anything. So I thought they're not doing too bad. <laughs> I can, I could probably. It's not enough to live on, but it's probably a pretty good start. I just thought I was seeing too many guys trying to get cheap laughs with the, you know, with the swearing and everything. And you know, if that's your act, that's fine. But I was just seeing you know, it looked almost like adolescence up there sometimes. And I just said, you know, where's the comedy? You know, where's, where's the, where's the, you know, the fun of it? And I just wasn't seeing that. Besides, my kids have enough to be reasons to be embarrassed about me. I, I didn't need to give them another one. Right. Well, it's it's funny you should bring that up because the documentary I Am Comic, which I was in, Sarah Silverman, who who does an adult act, and she's a very funny lady, and she does some very funny, uh, you know, comedy club adult stuff, actually addressed the same issue about people taking YouTube videos while you're actually working on new material that's not quite finished yet. And it really causes a, a, a dilemma, whether you're working in the, you know, comedy club market or the corporate market, causes a dilemma because you still have to work out your stuff. So I, I hear exactly what you're saying on this. 